not least, assignments. Now, a lot of our online interaction is going to be done on discussions or live through Google Meet, but uh, uh, almost all of your uh, uh, assignments are going to be submitted exclusively through the Brightspace assignments feature. Uh, in addition to this keeping everything in its place, assignments have several features that discussion forums do not. Uh, some of which are access to evaluation tools, uh, uh, because assignments will let me give feedback directly on your work, uh, which I'll show you later. Uh, it gives access to academic dishonesty uh, tools. Uh, it has turn it in functionalities, which gives me some idea if your work is something that you yourself wrote. This is important when I won't necessarily be able to observe your process directly. And also that assignments are private. D2L drop boxes are accessible only to me and doesn't subject your work to observation by other students or the internet as a whole and doesn't make it the property of Google. Uh, so the actual instructions for most assignments uh, will normally be in the content pages. I'll have them written out and they'll have instructions and that stuff is normally uh, in content. I'll usually uh, link the, uh, the instructions for an assignment to the same announcement that I, uh, uh, I put the Dropbox in. But when I'm talking about the, uh, the assignments feature, I'm usually talking about the assignment Dropbox because that's where you're going to be submitting your assignments. Now, in most circumstances, I'm going to link the uh, an assignment directly to the uh, assignment list like this, but if you ever need to just look directly at what are the assignments uh, that have been assigned so far, you can go in, just like we did earlier, uh, to the assignments toolbar, and that's the easiest way to get to one if it is older and one that has moved off of the first announcements page. There's uh, uh, not, because the announcements don't all show up, you have to hit the show all announcements here again to see older stuff if you, uh, if you need to. So, uh, so it's best to just go directly into the assignments tab if you uh, can't find it on the main page. Now, if you, uh, when you click on the assignment link, it uh, takes you to this page, which is the submission page. It can have instructions on it. It will often have a rubric, something that I'm going to be using to evaluate you on, uh, that, uh, that you can look to to see the evaluation criteria. Uh, and then it will have the submit assignment section here down at the bottom. Now, uh, when you uh, there are three buttons here, record audio, record video, which we can use, but that I'm not going to be focusing on here because the more common uh, one that you're going to be using is that you're going to be uploading files because uh, this is where written and uh, multimedia works and stuff can potentially be submitted. You can also use the comments section to tell me any information you need me to know about your file. Uh, but uh, but uh, if you click on add a file, it gives you a couple of options. Uh, now, most commonly, people will upload something directly from their computer. Uh, if you are doing that, though, please keep in mind that the system can only read things in .doc or .pdf format. Macs, in particular, uh, Mac users like myself, you need to uh, remember to not submit pages, files, or Keynote uh, because the system cannot process those, and I'll end up having to ask you to resubmit. Uh, if, uh, if you have linked successfully your Google Drive to your uh, uh, Brightspace account, then you will be given the option of uh, finding a file in Google and submitting, uh, submitting it directly from your Google Drive. Uh, if you do not see that button, it means that you have not yet gone through that process, which you can do from the, uh, the little house button at the top of the toolbar. Uh, it, like it's on the main page, it, sh it will prompt you to uh, get, get your Google uh, linked up. Now, the, the uh, interface here is a little bit clunky, so that can actually be helpful if you know the name of your file, uh, so, that, uh, uh, so that you can just, uh, just type in what you, uh, 
uh, what you are looking for and select your select your file that way using the search feature but if you don't you can just uh, like roll down until you find uh, the the uh, the file that you want to submit and click add and it uploads to the system now once you have clicked on and uploaded your file you are not done this is not you have not successfully submitted your file this is a very common mistake because if you look down here you can see this little button that says submit uh, and if you don't hit that button then you'll be confused when I come to you and tell you that I don't have your file because you have to click that Assuming you've done that, then, then you'll get one of these file submission is successful things, and you'll even potentially get an email that has been sent to you uh, to inform you that you have successfully submitted your file. And assuming it was in the right format, then I now have it. Um, now uh, you can click done at that point. Uh, and that brings you back to this assignment page, which I again remind you that this is uh, like it has this little category that says, completion status and if you look down that uh, uh, that list uh, you'll see whether or not your file is in there right now also if you go back later you can see whether or not I've evaluated your thing you should get an email when I do that too so you don't have to keep going back but uh, uh, but if you uh, 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 but but if you take a look, you'll see that it'll indicate that you have submitted a file, uh, so that uh, so that you know that you have successfully done so. Uh, now, please, uh, a lot of times there will be a link here that will indicate that uh, that will take you to your assignment where I've written comments or something on it. Uh, please take the time to look at that because I take time to do it. Uh, and uh, that runs down the basics of how assignments work in Brightspace. Uh, there's a lot more to the system, but those are the key things that will help you uh, with the day-to-day. -day. There are other tools like surveys, intelligent agents, groups uh, that teachers might use, but they'll need to explain to you how those work. Uh, I might put out a video on some of these someday, but for now, please take care and please remember that if you have a question, ask your teacher and please be patient with us. Have a good semester.